Well, it's a done deal in Aurora. Tonight, the city council signed off on a new police chief. Yeah, city leaders surprised the community by making the hire with no input from the public, even though they promised to give people a voice. Todd Chamberlain introduced himself during a news conference last week. He does have years of experience. He's a veteran at the Los Angeles Police Department. Aurora PD has a long line of chiefs and a long history of controversy. Dan Oates had the job for nine years before leaving in 2015. Nick Met served four years. Vanessa Wilson lasted only two. Oates then returned as the interim chief and two more interim chiefs then followed. Tori Mason is your reporter in Aurora has followed some of these twists and turns throughout the department and Tori the city says it was having trouble finding good candidates. Yes, but they're feeling great about Todd Chamberlain. Some council members were really asking the public to give this guy a chance because this department needs stability. But this was not a unanimous vote for the city council. There were two council members who voted not to approve his appointment. For the same reason, a lot of citizens showed up to voice their concerns tonight. A lack of community process. There's no justification. Medeans part of a group seeking justice for Kylan Lewis. They've been at every council meeting, even speaking directly to interim police chief Heather Morris. Now the department has new leadership. To have to almost hit the reset button of our cries and our pleas. That's hurtful. Aurora City Council voted Monday to ratify the appointment of Police Chief Todd Chamberlain, but not without pushback. Do you truly believe that your communities that you were elected to represent are going to be confident with your pick without even soliciting their feedback? City Manager Jason Batchelor explained that some candidates would not take part in a public process because it would put their current jobs in jeopardy. He says seeking community input would have only prolonged time without a permanent leader. All I care about is that he is here to straighten up this city. Some citizens are glad someone stepped up with intentions to stay. Though many residents feel excluded from the process, they hope the new chief will make it right and hit the ground running. I expect Todd Chamberlain to reach out to the community to understand the dynamics and the landscape. Now, after the council voted tonight, the protesters started chanting in anger, and those city leaders decided to move the rest of the meeting virtual. Chamberlain was not in attendance tonight, but he will start his role September 9th. We're live in Aurora. Tori Mason covering Colorado First. All right, Tori, thank you. Tori is one of your reporters in Aurora. We have three committed to your neighborhoods. Tori, Kelly, and Michael are all dedicated to telling stories in Aurora. So if you have a story idea for them, please reach out through our website, cbscolorado.com.